So I'm joined by an exceptionally talented lady standing to right of me, Nicola Benedetti. Thank you very much for chatting to us. Now, as we can see behind us, as we can probably hear behind us, we've got a bit of a warm up going because you're performing with the Royal Scottish National Orchestra this evening. What can people expect in the show? Well, I'm playing um, a not very well-known composer. His name is Shimonovsky, but he's actually the composer that I won the Young Musician of the Year competition with 12 years ago. I can't believe it's that long. Is it more than that? No, yes, 12 years ago. Um, and uh, this is actually his other concerto, so he wrote two. And this one is extremely colourful, very virtuosic and quite sort of folky. Um, he's a Polish composer, so he sort of was drawing on a lot of traditional Polish folk music and it's quite a feisty piece. Is it something you quite enjoy playing then? Of course, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Bring back memories. Um, well, it, this piece I've only been doing for the last sort of couple of years, but um, the, it's, it's very vibrant, it's really colourful, it's a lot of, um, a huge orchestra actually. Sometimes when you have a solo violin, you don't have so many um, other members of the orchestra kind of joining in in quite this way, but this piece is written, it's like a concerto for everybody. Um, so there's a lot of us going to be on stage, which is a nice, big, healthy sound. Do you quite like playing on your own or do you prefer having lots of other musicians beside you? Because obviously you've played with the, the orchestra before, is it a bit like playing with friends and family? Does that give you like make you more chilled out or does it make you a bit more nervous because you know them? <laughs> it can be both actually. <laughs> um, I think with time there's a growing sense of responsibility to the musicians that you've known since you were a teenager and you respect them so much and you respect your mutual relationship so much that you want to kind of honour that all the time. Um, on the other hand, I spend so much of the time alone, travelling alone and meeting musicians for the very first time and being on stage in what is quite an intimate environment with people that I don't know. So the fact that I can, if I wish to, look around and see familiar faces, that's, that's really in the end a comfort. Definitely, that'll be a nice thing to do. And you're playing in Edinburgh tomorrow night and then Aberdeen. And then you're off around the world looking at April, your way down under. Yes. What is it like travelling? Is it as glamorous as it seems or is it something that just it gets quite sort of tiring, I suppose? It's something I don't consider because I've never had another style of life since the age of 16. I've been travelling all <laughs> over the place. Um, but going to Australia and New Zealand, that's, that's a... It's quite a journey. So um, last time I did that, I was not sensible and I kind of arrived 24 hours before my first concert, which was just so stupid and I suffered so badly. <laughs> so this time I've been much more sensible. I have like four days okay. when I get there um, and I'm actually going with my boyfriend. We're playing together. We're doing a, a double concerto with an orchestra, with a few orchestras out there. Um, so uh, it will be, it should be a really fun trip as well as hard work. That would be absolutely fantastic. And have you got any advice for budding musicians? Do you go home, take the music home, put in the hours? Is it still just important to, to just practice, I think, is the, the key word? Absolutely. I think that's something that becomes a part of your life forevermore. But I don't think that's something for young musicians to fear or dread. The practice and the improvement is part of the fun of it. So actually embrace that. You've played in the, the most impressive venues around the world, some of the most impressive musicians. Do you still have goals, aims that you want to achieve as a, as a professional musician? Well, uh, classical music is one of the most plentiful and complex things you can attempt to, I don't know, casp uh, grasp in your life. So I, I think it's, um, it's a never-ending journey for me. It's, uh, my goals are, I have more of them than I ever did before, <laughs> so it's, it's never-ending.